Hello everyone, today I found 3 red rings in the Soul Knight prequel event, so I'm reviewing them for you. These rings are really very good. To obtain them, you need around 300 embers of each type. At the beginning of the game, you should buy this expanded pack because it's quite affordable and provides a lot of embers. After that, go through the challenges and raise all the embers to 300 to receive the red rings. The lower milestones will only grant you gold, ESO, helix, etc. To get the second fate bound according to your preference, you should choose the boss on the map that has the fate bound you need. This is because it will drop the ring that matches that fate bound. Now let's review each ring individually, the first ring is the one I'm currently using because I really like it. It increases all my damage by 75% and boosts my critical hit rate to 100%, it is suitable for classes with erratic damage, like the ones I'm playing, Storm Shaman, Druid, Mage, etc. However, it is not suitable for classes that rely on critical damage because the crit rate will always be at 100% when attacking. The second ring is also extremely good. It reduces the cooldown time for other skills when you use your current skill. This is very useful if you have some skills with long cooldown times. The third ring is a versatile ring that can be used for any class, and it's something Valkyrie players really need. When you use it, it helps you increase survivability, preventing you from getting shocked deaths like before. With this ring, if you use skills that increase health as well, you're almost invincible. The boss here is quite difficult for weaker players, so you should bring plenty of revival stones. If you don't want to waste revival stones, you can play at lower levels to gather resources. This event really allows you to earn a lot of resources. <laughs> 